Oh my god. <laughs> that dish said was welcome to Nigeria. You are home with us. Enjoy our flavors, enjoy our colors, enjoy our life. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dami Show. If you are here for the first time, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you. And for those that are returning, my loyal gang, thank you for coming back again. If you are here and you haven't subscribed, please do well by subscribing to this channel, like the video, drop a comment, and press the notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified every time your girl posts a video. Yeah, right. As you can tell, I'm doing a reaction video, guys. I am reacting to... Okay, so I am reacting to this video on YouTube where um, a couple named i'm sorry if i can't pronounce their names well okay so the guy's name is khalid al ameri that's the name of his youtube channel and i'll be reacting to them eating nigerian food so um they live in dubai and um, they went to a nigerian restaurant to try out several nigerian foods and i'm just going to be reacting to their reaction on nigerian food so <laughs> remember one time i think it's still a thing where um people are trying egosi and fufu yeah people are bored white are uh, trying fufu and egosi and when this guy got to the nigerian restaurant he was so excited i don't know what he was thinking just this is the fufu that we're gonna be eating my dear oh. it's not that's not fufu that's yeah. pandered yam made, made by yam Um, the first thing is this guy says that just like Arabs, Nigerians eat with their hands. So these two continents, these two cultures have the same thing in common, yeah? With their hands. Yeah, they have the same thing in common. So, this is our first time so the first thing they are trying is the ultimate, the splendid Nigerian jollof with plantain. So let's watch. We're just washing up because um, what we've learned is in Nigeria, like Arabs, they eat a lot of the food with their hands. So I was getting uh, right in there. So this is our first time trying Nigerian food, so it's only right that we get started with the most famous Nigerian dish, jollof rice. Let's give it a shot. Love. Mm. I'm ready, Nigeria. I'm ready. Got a bit of the sweetness of the plantain with the spiciness of the rice, and that combined creates this a sort of magical moment. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going in for the kill. I mean, um, jello fries is the most popular Nigerian meal. And I mean, if that's the first thing you're trying, it's okay that's the first thing you're trying to welcome you to the culture. Yeah. This combination though, why moi moi with fried rice? It doesn't follow. No, that was wrong. Why didn't they give them the plantain instead of moi moi? I think um, jello fries and moi moi goes better than plantain. Jello fries with moi moi goes better than fried rice with moi moi. As in, it's so, so awkward because of the veggies in the fried rice and you're not eating it with beans, pudding. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't sit well, <laughs> but they like to jollof fries. So let's see their reaction with the fried rice. You can see I'm preparing my bite over here: Nigerian fried rice, moi moi, and chicken. Moi moi is uh, processed beans that are uh, boiled and brought together. Do it together. Sure, I would love to. We were supposed to do it together and have the reaction, you know, the way it's done on YouTube where we can... We're just gonna... Come on, welcome to the conference. I wonder if she's gonna leave any for me, she's just... Do you want me to leave? Without... So they enjoyed the fried rice, yeah? So let's move to... This is fufu. 
Fufu. Yeah. This is what you've all been waiting for, right? Yes. I know. That when we said we're trying Nigerian food, everyone thought fufu. Pounded yam is well no. Pounded yam is more popular than fufu. Yes. Well, there you go, social media. We've been doing it all wrong. And now. But this said this does not have anything inside. Fufu on his own. Yuck! Is real. So this is the fufu. Okay, the doughy texture that I love. So we're gonna have some of the fufu with the sauce. Did you guys see that? Mm. Yeah. Put it, put it with the, with the, with the oh, the oil. wow, man. Yeah. <laughs> there it is, right? <laughs> Um, the Nigerian. <laughs> she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. She wasn't. She was like trying to play it, play it professional. Said, yeah, it's nice. She loves spicy food, but like I said, when we thought about Nigerian food, we didn't imagine it being this spicy. My nose is inside her. <laughs> Explain to people exactly what we're eating, then we eat together. So Can we do it right this time? No, 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 you're ruining for the, for the whole video. You might have a big Nigerian audience, but I don't, and I'm trying to get... Aww. To all, all right. my Nigerian people, I love you. So now we're gonna try, what's it called? Pounded yams? No, no. Yam porridge. Yeah. Yam porridge, yeah. Now we're gonna try another famous Nigerian staple called yam porridge. As you can see, it's very colorful. We haven't asked what's inside it, Bruh. but here we go. I'm like, mm. Mm. wait. Some more. Let me eat this food. Let me taste this food. Mm. As soon as I tasted it, it reminded me. So, oh, chili potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have an Arabic dish called chili potato. This definitely resonated. And you can feel the spice right here. You guys, they haven't seen anything. It's the ground. <laughs> so, they are trying Ofada sauce. I am actually sauce with Ofada rice. So let's see their reaction. I can't, you know that usually Ayamashi sauce is always very peppery. So let's see. This one that we're complaining about the pepper inside. Can they it's hold this? Dish because this. Apparently it is fire. And I like the fact that they're already giving them heads up. This is fire. It's a fire meal. It's going to be very peppery. Gather your strength. Gather all that is in you to get ready for this meal. Yeah? Are we ready? Let's see. They said that they've got something for us for the grand finale and that we should be excited about it. Oh, actually, I, I, here it is. I don't think you're ready for it. Let's give you a bit of background on this dish. They said they did not want to serve us this specific dish because apparently it is fire. And I say fire both in terms of how great it is, but also fire in terms of the spice level. Uh, we insisted. <laughs> yeah, we honest. insisted, yeah. I was like, I'm not <laughs> leaving unless I burn myself. <laughs> Ofada rice and it is known as more of a brown rice. And this is ayamase sauce, which is pretty much a spicy beef stew. And it is the spiciest of spicy. And they told us to be ready. We were born ready. Oh yes, we can do this. We can do this. Salama and I are coming for your food, and we are coming and By the looks it. of it, we're gonna fly there. <laughs> the spiciest of the spiciest ayamase beef stew with some ofada rice. Nothing. Nothing. You kidding me? <laughs> that's that's what. It's absolutely nothing. Yes. It builds slowly, so you don't know. Oh, oh no, it's here. <laughs> the back of the... <laughs> oh, that made it worse. 
Yeah. Like, keep eating. That helps. Like, let's just keep eating. It's gonna help it. It's getting worse though. It's, it's, it's building up. Don't, don't, don't. What are you doing? It's uh, spicy, but it's so good. All right. Okay. No, it's really good. So she's gonna, oh, she's she's gonna cut the puff puff in half. I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm So Khalid and Samari, I believe that's her name. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrongly. They tried several of um, Nigerian meals and they enjoyed it. I believe from their reaction, but after warning them of their father's sauce, I don't know what they were expecting, but they ate more and more and more. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video of Arabs trying Nigerian food. Thank you for stopping by. I hope to do more. I'll see you next time. Bye. I love you.